everyone, this is uh, Sunken Dev here. Um, so, over the past week or so, I've been working on two major components of the game. Uh, one of those is diving, um, which will allow the workers to go out into the ocean to do whatever kind of tasks they need to do. Uh, and the other is uh, programmability, so that will be something uh, kind of similar to what Minecraft has with uh, Redstone, but it'll allow you to do all sorts of cool things, uh, like build a, an actually functioning airlock. So, um, to start out with that, um, these are all some placeholder icons down here, but uh, we can place a water sensor down here, and this will basically trigger if there's any water on this tile and then we can place the stop sign in front of this door and so the stop sign's red again these are placeholder sprites here but while that's red any worker that stands on that is going to wait pretty much forever before moving on so then we take this negator and this will take whatever input comes into it and negate it and then forward it on. So when we wire all this up you can see this turns green and that's because the water sensor is saying false the negator is turning that into true and then that's getting forwarded to the stop sign. So the end effect of this little circuit here is that if there's water in this room people aren't allowed to go through this door and that's kind of what we want from an airlock. Uh, these two little blue things here are water pumps. You can see I have them hooked up to a generator and a battery, as I explained in the last video. And these will pump water out of the room. So, let's get a guy to go out and test our new airlock. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw one of these plants out here and Normally you won't be able to put tomato plant at the bottom of the sea, but um, just for experimentation we're going to. And then I'm going to build a dive suit locker. So this is where guys will go to get their dive suits when they need to go outside for any reason. So with that all set up, let's throw a person in here. So he goes and he grabs his dive suit. He goes outside to grab this fresh undersea tomato. You can see this is now red here. Meaning that when he tries to go through this door, he won't be able to. But as the water drains out, that'll turn to green and allow him to go through. So now we have a fully functioning airlock. And he puts his suit up because he's done until this grows another tomato. But that's what I've been working on. Um, these data cables will allow for all sorts of crazy stuff once I add more functionality to them. Uh, I'm kind of aiming for my game to become one of those Turing Complete games where you could build all sorts of crazy contraptions to manage your base. But that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.